hello everyone welcome to the studio and welcome to the brand new tutorial for after effect and in this tutorial i'm planning to create an awesome dynamic looking instagram story completely on after effects yes it's completely in after effects that means i'm not using any third party plugin so with that note let's jump in the tutorial and here we are in after effect and first thing first let's create a composition so for that click over here I will just rename it as a render comp and for this tutorial I'm changing this width size to 1080 height size to 1920 that's the size of Instagram story and change the frame rate to 30 and make sure the resolution is full and the time code is 15 second long so after that click OK now let's create one more composition so for that click over here and let's rename it as media plus older one and where you can add images or videos of your choice so click on ok and now let's drag and drop this image over here in media plus older one and select the image layer press s to scale and let's drop down the scale right around here so this is looking pretty good now let's go back to render cup and let's drag and drop this media placeholder over here now let's create a new solid so for that press ctrl y and let's rename it as a background or busy let's create okay and let's add a field to this background layer so select the background go to effect go to generate and add a fill I will give a white fill for now but we can change the fill color anytime in the future and let's bring this all the way to the bottom now let's add a rectangle so select on rounded rectangle and let's double click it so we have this shape layer so select the shape layer press on right click rename it as a mat because I will be using this shape layer as a mat so select this mat layer go to rectangle tab and let's toggle down the rectangle path 1 and from here let's change the roundness to around 150 and let's scale it down maybe somewhere around here and this is looking pretty good now select the media placeholder composition and let's change the track mat to alpha mat if you didn't see the track mat you can always click on toggle switch to move around now now let's animate this matte layer so select the matte layer press s to get the scale property and move the cursor like around one second on timeline add a keyframe and go back to very first frame and let's make the scale zero and let's press zero to make a preview so yeah this is looking pretty okay for now now let's select this to keyframe and press f9 to easy is the keys and let's go to the graph editor and let's make a room somewhere over here and let's select the key over here and let's move it in the middle and let's select another key and drag the handle just to create a peak in the middle and now let's make a preview again so yeah this is what we have now let's add a text so let's go over here add a text uh, webinar so let's go to the align tab let's align it in the center and select the text layer go to the character tab and let's make it a little bigger maybe 
around 150 this is looking pretty good now select the text layer tab and press and control and double click on pan behind tool just to make sure that the anchor point is in the middle now let's add another text so click on text add another text so 50 character tab and let's increase the font size so maybe that and let's go to the align tab and let's align in the center and let's move it somewhere over here uh, maybe this font is a little big maybe the size is a little big let's drop down the size somewhere around this and let's put it somewhere over here and let's bring this a little down maybe somewhere over here so this is looking pretty good now let's add a drop shadow so for that select select the text layer go to effect and go to perspective and add a drop shadow and let's increase the softness a little bit and maybe increase the opacity a little bit let's duplicate this drop shadow so for that control D and let's increase the softness a little bit so this is looking pretty good now let's select the both top drop shadows control C copy it and let's paste it on another text layer control V and maybe let's increase the softness a little bit and from the first one let's drop down the softness a little bit so this is looking pretty good now let's add a text animation so right after right after the image reveal then I want to add a text animation so let's go around one second frame timeline go to this photography webinar text toggle down and let's animate uh, opacity and let's add a tracking property too now let's add a tracking around one hundred and let's drop down the opacity to zero and now let's go to the range selector and let's add a keyframe and offset so select add a keyframe and now let's move around the two second on timeline and let's change the offset to 100 percent so this is what we have and now let's go to the advanced tab and from square let's change it to ramp up and let's change the ease high to 100% and ease low to 100% now let's see what we have now in the very first keyframe let's change the offset to minus 100 and now let's see what we have so this is looking pretty good now let's copy the animator 1 Control C and let's paste it to the next text layer Control V see you so this is what we have now select the text layer press U now let's select this keyframe press F9 let's go to the graph editor and this time let's and let's create a peak on one side so this is looking pretty good now let's see how it looks and let's do the same thing select this keyframe press F9 let's go to the graph editor and let's create select one key and let's create a peak on one side now first I want this text to appear first and like once it appear around here then I want my another text to reveal so let's offset by a couple of frames now let's make a preview so how it looks so I think this is looking pretty good now just to make a little dynamic let's add a new rectangle let's double click it now let's make it a little smaller 
let's keep it somewhere over here and let's put it under these two text layers let's increase the size a little bit so once the text rebuild then I want uh, this rectangle to appear so let's press S let's uncheck this icon and right add a keyframe right around two second and let's add another keyframe around three second now let's go back and let's change it to zero so here we have now let's select the these two keyframe press f9 go back to graph editor and let's create a pick in the middle and now let's see how it looks maybe let's move this keyframe a little maybe somewhere over here I guess let's make a preview again yeah it's okay maybe I'll just add somewhere over here and let's make a preview I think this is looking pretty good now I want a scale animation on this image at the same time so add a keyframe let's go back to around 3 seconds on timeline and let's add a keyframe of 110 so yep now let's select these two keyframe press F9 go to graph editor and let's create a pick in the middle so this is what we have now let's make a preview it at the same time now let's see how it looks so this is looking pretty good now let's go back to the very first frame now let's add a keyframe for position let's add a keyframe let's go around one second timeline and add another keyframe and add go back to the very first frame and let's move this image somewhere over here a little down now let's make a preview so yep yep now let's select these two keyframe press f9 go to graph editor and let's create a pick in the middle so something like this now let's make a preview so yeah this is what I was looking for all right now let's select the media placeholder and add a transform so go to distort and add a transform and let's add a scale animation like throughout maybe around eight second let's make it 120 and let's see how it looks So yep this is looking pretty good all right now let's add a website address so click over here uh, select the text layer go to edit add a fill so generate add a fill so I'll just go for a dark fill and let's go to the let's go to the character tab and let's drop down the scale and let's go to the and let's align it in the center and let's move it somewhere over here select the text layer go to position and let's go back around four seconds let's add another keyframe and let's go back to the three second and let's move it somewhere over here so this is what we have now let's select this text layer press f9 go to the graph editor and let's create a pick in the middle now let's make a preview hmm. 
maybe let's add this at the same time maybe somewhere over here make it coming from the bottom and let's put it under the media place folder so now let's see how it looks let's stream this over here now let's see how it looks so yep this is looking pretty good add a new solid control y let's rename it as a wave and let's put it all the way to the bottom let's go to effect go to uh, generate and add a radio waves and let's solo this layer for now so that i can see what i'm doing now and let's go to the effect add a fill so generate add a fill i'll just change it a white for now uh, let's go to the polygons controller and let's drop down it to around three let's make it a start and let's change the curvature and let's make let's curve around this and let's increase the expansion too and let's increase the frequency and let's go to the very first frame and let's drag it maybe somewhere around here and let's unsolo it and let's change the background to some dark color something like this and now let's make a preview shadow Oh now let's change this text, let's change this field to white and go to the waves and let's decrease the expansion a little bit. Yeah maybe something like that. So now let's do a final touch up. So click on media placeholder, let's add a tint. So go over here, color correction and add a tint and let's go over create new and create a adjustment layer and go to fx color correction and add a curve and let's drop down a little bit create something like this now let's go to effect and go to oh, blur and sharpen and let's add a little bit of sharpen maybe around 10 and let's make a preview so this is pretty simple uh instagram stories and i hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video